Okay, hello, let's get this recap started. Meet Joanna. She's throwing something in the trash while her daughter Claire checks out a nest. Claire then begins to ride her bike. When she goes home, she hears her mother crying upstairs. Claire goes up to the attic to see her mother. She's hung herself. Claire then wakes up and it seems that it was just an old memory. Claire's father Jonathan leaves for work with his coworker Carl while she heads for school. She's riding her bike when she's almost hit by some high school ruffians. She arrives at school and sees her father at work. Turns out her dad and Carl work for themselves as dumpster divers. Claire asks her father if he can stop dumpster diving, especially at her school as it's embarrassing for her. Her dad says fine and leaves. Cut to Claire with her BFFs, June and Meredith. While Claire and her friends are putting up a banner, a student walks over and takes an upskirt photo of Claire as a prank. This girl Darcy walks over with her friends and throws coffee at the banner to get in on the prank. Claire is in Chinese language class when Ryan compliments her on her banner. Claire says, yeah, yeah, thanks, but it seems she only has eyes for this guy, Paul, who fun fact is dating Lola, one of Claire's bullies. Claire has the audacity to laugh and have fun with her friends at lunch, so Darcy and her bully crew walk over to Claire and start saying mean things to her. Claire stands up for herself and says mean things back. The cafeteria begins to laugh at Darcy for getting stood up to. It seems Darcy is about that life though, as she slaps Claire for talking back to her. But Claire clearly does not play that either as she slaps Darcy back. The two begin to scrap. Let's cut to a little later. Claire is headed home, but first stops by her neighbor's house to vent. She then arrives at home and finds a Chinese music box on her bed that her dad found for her in a dumpster. Claire reads out the few words she can understand from the box, which says wishes seven. Claire checks on her phone and sees a post online of her dad dumpster diving, courtesy of Darcy. Claire wishes Darcy would rot, not thinking too much of her words. At night, the music box begins to play an ominous noise. Darcy wakes up in the morning and sees that her leg seems to be, well, rotting. Meredith shows Claire photos she acquired of Darcy and the girls begin to laugh. Claire does not think too much of the wish she made earlier as it was just a passing comment. After school, Claire finds her dog dead under her house. Claire shows the box to her Chinese teacher. He says most of the words are written in ancient Chinese and she needs to find a scholar. Ryan overhears the conversation and says he can help her out as conveniently his cousin is a Chinese scholar. At home, Claire is looking at pictures of Paul. She wishes that he would fall in love with her. The next day, Paul walks up to Claire at her locker and strikes up a conversation. While this is happening, her rich uncle, who appeared earlier in the movie but I spared you their conversation, slips and falls in his bathtub and dies, gruesomely. Claire arrives home and her father tells her the news about her uncle. He then says he wonders what's going to happen to all of her uncle's stuff, as he will most likely leave them out of the will. Claire gets upset at her father because he's being insensitive and is a hoarder. She then goes upstairs and wishes Uncle August would leave her everything not yet understanding the consequences of her wishes. Claire's dad gets a call informing him that Claire's uncle left her everything. The neighbor congratulates her before she moves into her uncle's mansion. Claire then takes her friends to get pedicures. The neighbor is cooking when suddenly her neck is snapped by her hair getting pulled in the garbage disposal. I'll let you guess how that happened on your own, but let's just say the physics is very questionable. Claire sees the box open by itself and play a melody while all this is happening. She goes to sleep and has a nightmare about the box. She wakes up and sees a man standing outside her window. The man flees. The next day at school, Paul breaks up with Lola. He then walks up to Claire and asks her out. She says yes, Sersky. Later, Claire asks Ryan to help her decipher the box's meaning. We meet Ryan's cousin, Gina, who translates the box. It says the box will grant the owner seven wishes as long as said owner does not abandon the box. The box also has the name Lu Mei written on it. The gang searches up Lu Mei. Lu Mei seems to have cursed the box in 1910 to get revenge on her family's killers and became wealthy. She then killed herself a few years later. Claire is driving home and she sees her father dumpster diving with Carl. Claire confronts her dad. He tells her to chill. Him and Carl are buds and they like to hang out. She goes home and well, you guessed it, wishes the box would make her dad cool. We cut back to Gina who further translates the box. It says when the music ends, the blood price is paid. She tries to reach out to Claire but coincidentally Gina's power goes out and coincidentally her phone has no service. Claire and her friends are too busy watching her dad play the sax anyway because he's cool now. 
Gina is able to warn Ryan before coincidentally tripping and impaling herself on a statue. Ryan tells Claire about the box's full translation and asks her if she's been making wishes. Claire lies and says nah. She then ditches her friends to sit at the cool table with Paul. Claire seems distraught and upset about the lives she might have taken with her irresponsible wishes. So to make herself feel better, she makes another wish. She cleverly wishes to be the most popular girl at school. Paul invites Claire to a party. Claire is at said party and everyone thinks she's cool. She kisses Paul then heads home. She then wakes up in the middle of the night and sees the stalker from earlier outside her window again. Claire thinks someone is following her because of the music box and hides it. She tries to visit her neighbor to vent and finds her body. Claire wins her friends back and invites them over to her house. She explains to them how the music box works. Meredith tells her that her wishes are extremely childish, which well, I guess is kind of true. Claire agrees. Her friends further state that Claire is an entire psychopath for still making wishes after she knew people were gonna die, which well, I guess is also kind of true. Claire agrees with this sentiment as well, but since they're BFFs, it's all good. The girls are at a party when her friends ask if she's thrown the box away. Claire lies and says she most certainly has. She then finds out that Paul was her window stalker through pictures on his phone, as he's mindlessly in love with her. She breaks up with him. Claire confesses to June that she's kept the box. The box suddenly begins to play music because of her popularity wish from earlier. Meredith gets trapped in an elevator and falls to her death. June tells Claire it's all her fault. Ryan, who has been doing some investigating, shows Claire the previous owners of the box. All became rich, all whose friends died, and all committed suicide. It seems a demon inside the box claims their souls as the final price. Claire tells Ryan she wished five times, but lied and said she did not know anyone would die. The two try to destroy the box to no avail. Claire then goes to sleep and once again wakes up to Paul watching her. He begins to cut his wrist and say he does not want to live without her. An ambulance comes for him. Ryan and Claire check on the box, which seems to have disappeared in all the commotion. The doorbell then rings and the IRS walk in. It seems Claire's uncle hasn't paid his taxes in 10 years, so Claire and her father are forced to move back to their old home. Claire heads to school and must live her old mundane life of poverty and unpopularity. While Claire is walking the hall, she sees the music box in June's locker. Ryan walks over to see Claire and June fighting when June falls down the stairs. Unlucky. Ryan chases Claire down and tells her she's absolutely bugging and needs to chill. Claire tells him to be gone or she will use one of her wishes on him. Ryan pieces out. Claire is having a meltdown at home and wishes her mother never committed suicide. She wakes up to her mother and siblings wishing her a happy birthday. Claire's in the attic when she sees paintings that her mother made of the music box, meaning when her mother committed suicide, it must have been due to the box. Carl and Claire's dad are vibing outside. Carl is standing atop a ladder, swiping out a tree with a chainsaw, while Claire's dad stands directly beneath him. Claire tries to run outside and warn her father about the discovery when, shockingly, her dad is decapitated and killed when Carl almost falls off the ladder. But don't worry, friends. Carl was able to catch the branch in time and is doing okay. Claire runs upstairs and uses her final wish to return to the morning her father found the box. Claire asks to go dumpster diving with her father. She finds the box before they do and puts it in her bag. She asks Ryan to bury her bag for her and kisses him. As she is happily walking away, she's struck and killed by Darcy in her vehicle. R.I.P. Before Ryan buries Claire's bag, he takes a peek inside, pulling out the music box. He walks away with it. The end. Until next time, friends.